Cat cam. <laughs> Cat cam. Cat cam. <laughs> oh dear. I'm having far too much fun. I think I might be having more fun than them. It keeps popping out and the other one is just like so unfazed by it all. You go back. This good boy. Brave boy. You fucker. <laughs> Cheapest toy ever. We cut some holes. I know you can see the one on the top. But there's one on the side too, and they poke this. <laughs> Look at his little paw. Oh. This is a great way of getting them to play instead of fight because they kind of think they're fighting, but they're really playing because <laughs> there's a box in the way. <laughs> oh dear. Love each other. Love each other. Hi guys. I haven't vlogged for ages, so I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> I just figured I'd take you out. We're gonna to go to a park. I'm speaking really quietly because I'm in a corridor and I'm really paranoid. Next stop, Simcoe Street. We're at the park. We're at the park. We're at the park. Ooh, bunting. <gasps> Tiny dog. Park looks really pretty today. The lighting's a bit off, but um, there's the CN Tower. That's how far away we are. It's not that far. It's Trinity Bellwoods Park, if I haven't mentioned it already. But this bit looks really British. <laughs> All we need is someone playing cricket, and it would make me feel proper homesick. Can you even see that? It's the Pan Am Games clock counting down. They had this crazy photo booth thing next to the um, the, pa the clock counting down for the games and I totally can't see it from here so I can't show you but um, yeah we took a photo on it so hopefully I can put that in here because it emails it to you. That, that made me smile. Fun, fun stuff. <laughs> it did though, it was funny. Ew, why does my face look so much redder than my body? Awesome. I was in the sun for like, what, 20 seconds? It's now Monday. <laughs> this vlog is going to be a higgledy-piggledy mess of days rolled into a big blob of shit. I thought I'd share with you what I did this morning, and that was I got my first pumpkin spice latte of the year. God, I look fucking... I <laughs> tomato! Jesus! It must be my... My rosacea, if I haven't. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Let's just stand in the dark. That'll that'll work for me. Yeah, I was horribly excited because I had heard rumours that the pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks was coming back early this year because summer here has not been very summery. And I was like, because ah, I love it. I love that drink. I can't help myself. I don't drink it a lot. I have like one a week or something. But um, yeah. Uh, they let me have it a day early because it's supposed to be released tomorrow but because I go in there like constantly I was just like give me the pumpkin and they're like it's okay it's okay Jess you can have the pumpkin I'm like okay but I forgot to ask for it half sweet and I always get a half sweet because it's just too sweet so I basically just drank a cup of sugar and couldn't taste any coffee which upsets me because um, I think we know I love coffee by now yeah, that's what's happening. I'm gonna go over to Cat Cam because there's something interesting happening. Well, something interesting was happening, but you can't even see because it's dark. There, there. You, you can see one there, one there, and then there's neck curtains. And they were kind of having a little jousty thing, but through the curtains it was kind of fun. Hello, baby. Hello. How you doing? 
Does Mummy change her voice to stupid voice when she talks to you? Why do people do that? Why do? Ow! <laughs> he needs his um. He needs a little a little bit of a trim on his um sharp pincer pincer claws. They're a bit evil. This is terrible. This is terrible footage. I am like the worst vlogger in the fucking world. Probably not, but near there. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. I'm going to talk to you in a normal voice, like a normal person. How are you? What's it like being a cat and not a person? See, it just doesn't work, does it? I don't think they like it. Oh, did you hear? Did you hear the little squeak? You can't see fuck all. Why am I, why am I doing this? What? I, I'm dark again, for God's sake. Why am I on the internet? Why am I not looking at the camera? I've lost the power to vlog and it's hurting me. I might have to have a decaf coffee, like at home. <gasps> the horror because I don't feel like I've had that taste of coffee. Like, of course I've had coffee in my latte, but I didn't taste it. So I'm like, <laughs> I want to taste my coffee. I literally have fuck all to talk about. That's what I mean. I'm like, how do people, and I'm, okay, I'm just gonna shut up about the lighting and we'll just have some fun while we go along, okay? How do people do daily vlogs? How? I like do one, I don't know. Once every couple of weeks, I try and do a vlog. And it's like, no. Oh look, you can <laughs> you can tell I've dyed my hair, <laughs> just because the sun is shining right through it. The whole thing is not this color. It went a bit wrong, and I ended up with hair that looks kind of black, but not in this light. I'm not going to bother trying to show you because we've already talked about the lighting conditions. Going to show you what I bought this morning. Yeah. Oh great, now I'm shiny too. As I might have discussed earlier in the. Vlog, I hope, this one. Eek. My cat. I don't know which one it was, but one of them managed to smash one of my... Let me go find it. This. <laughs> uh, one of the cats managed to knock this onto the floor. It's the reusable plastic tumbler thingamajigs. Cup, Jess. The word is cup. Christ. They managed to knock it over and the lid actually smashed, which was weird because they're pretty... Who does that? They're pretty robust. You know, let's hit it against something sensible. Uh, uh, now I feel compelled to show you something that's on my shelf that, that has become a crumpled mess. I made a paper grumpy cat once and it was fun and I should do it again because it was fun and he's a little bit worse for wear. Anyway, back to my story. It's a wonderful story. I got a new lid. <laughs> the fucking cup that's my whole story i got a new lid but it's purple oh god you can't see it's got like ridges on it it reminds me of jelly for some reason like jelly when you're a kid it has ridges down the side if you put it in a certain mold oh man i am hating myself today then i got some really fun posts and i'm a bit too excited about it because i know it's in it already because let's just say I have ways of getting things, makeupy things, don't worry, from countries other than my own because I can't get them here. So I have mules set up around the world and we have a lot of fun um, exchanging or asking pe you know, each other to purchase things for each other and then send them to each other. I'm going to try and show you, but it's really hard to show you with the fucking address thing because it's like everywhere but I want to show you the packaging because it's so cute look everyone 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 watching next time you send a parcel or, or an envelope or anything put pretty tape around it it makes the world a difference to find this in your in your letterbox yeah makes me really happy really hope I haven't shown anything private and I really hope I'm not going to leave it for like a month and not open it like a dick, like I normally do. Now I want to tell you about my fridge magnets because I realise I've showed you them a lot. This might be the dullest portion of a vlog you've ever seen, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is a photo of me and my man shape and we're clearly in Boston uh, and we went on a Boston duck tour and it's fun and I love magnets. This is clearly a stapler. I don't know why it's got blue stuff on it. Ignore the words. Cow. <laughs> cow we went to vermont i bought a magnet think my dad gave me this just because of the cats 
Toronto! We went to a museum and saw dinosaurs and it was really, really shit. But the ROM itself is really good here. Uh, the Royal Ontario Museum. Stone Temple Pilots Magnet. I actually don't remember how I got this, but I'm very happy I did. This, I don't know if I bought this or whether my friend from home gave me this, but yeah. Coffee, fun, and then random blingy thing. And then we're gonna go to, yeah, you thought it was over, it's not. Um, Star Wars, this is like the, the, the present to the man shape and they've been relegated to the bottom because he really doesn't care about this sort of thing. Um, Marilyn and a walking clinic. I think we can all agree that that was really fun and that maybe I should not be vlogging today. Off I pop. I'm back because I thought of something and I instantly forgot it. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say thank you for sticking around whilst I learn how to try and make videos. And I say try because I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job of it, especially right now. I just wanted to say thanks for watching my bullshit attempts because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just practicing and it means a lot that anyone watches. And yeah, every time I see someone's commented or watched or anything, I'm like, woo, and it makes me happy. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Fuzzbot number one is like having a ball. He is so look look he's doing little otter things. I just can't get him in the frame very well. But I shut the little um the little one, the kitten, um I've put him in his room for a bit because reasons. And number one loves to be on his own for a bit and be the only kitty. Oh, you're so happy. Oh, you're all excited. But he keeps doing that. Like, he freaks out and thinks that, like, somehow the other cat's gonna get out. But he likes some alone time. And then he, t he starts playing and he never plays. Because he's been really sad. I know it's like, it might sound like I'm projecting, but he honestly acts so sad. I'm sure you don't mind. I'm just filming the freaking cat doing nothing. But, um, yeah. It's quite hard to find a balance when they don't get on like brilliantly. Yeah, he's been hard, hasn't it? Mm, you're not so fond of your little bro, are you? But he has to come out soon. My friend picked this up for me at a garage sale because it's awesome and it's owls. And look at his face and his eyes and tell me it doesn't remind you of anything. Look! <laughs> oh my goodness. But don't you think it's funny? <laughs> I pissed myself. It's brilliant. I love it. Little man's been let out and about, and he's come straight to steal the box back. Oh, they want you to love each other and be bros. He's at such a funny angle. It's like tipping down a slope. You're a little love bug. I feel like the luckiest person alive when a cat sleeps on me. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Extreme close up. And now it's Tuesday. I had to think about that. Yeah. I don't know what, day five of the worst vlog I've ever done? Yeah. I just got the weirdest compliment, <laughs> but it was kind of cool as well, but it was, it was funny to me. I was getting my coffee and I literally brought the empty cup home just so I can demonstrate what I did because I don't know what I did that was funny to this person. I'm sitting opposite this girl um, and I see her in there sometimes anyway, so you kind of get that, you know, you know. Don't know her at all, I just kind of, Nod at the regulars. I have my headphones in because I was listening to uh, Rhett and Link's podcast um, with Hannah Hart. Yes, I'm very late to the game. Um, their podcast is called Ear Biscuits and it's so awesome. 
So I've got all of those to listen to, which just, whew, that makes me happy. So I was listening to that and I don't often listen to things when I'm having coffee, I'm usually reading. So I'm not used to having headphones in. So I've got my headphones in and I, I pick up my cup because I all of a sudden think, does it put sugar in this? Because I get my coffee unsweetened. So I kind of pick it up like this and I'm like, just like that. no one there. That's really creepy. Ghosts. Aliens. So I did that and the girl opposite starts bursting out laughing and looking at me and I was like... So I had to take my headphones out obviously because I was like, what's, what, what's happened? <laughs> Is there someone behind me? Oh my god. And then she went, I'm sorry it was your face, it was so funny. And she kind of tried to copy what I'd done and I was going, I don't know what I did, oh okay. And I was like, oh I was checking if it was sweet and I just kind of started talking to her. And then I was like, obviously wanting to get back to my podcast, so I was being a bit antisocial. So she was like, oh, well, thanks for the laugh anyway, you know. Thanks for the funny expression or something, she said. And I was like, what does my face do? And I don't know what my face is doing, but I've been told this before in comments. People have said I've got a really expressive face. And I'm like, what does that mean? Am I supposed to be like this? Like, the normal people talk like this? I've never really given it much thought. And then I'm gonna be like over analyzing every video from now on, staring at my face, being like, what's she doing with her eyes? What's happening? <laughs> that was attractive. So apparently I have some sort of rubber face that moves in all the directions that others don't. I don't know. Or maybe I just use my facial expressions more than others. I'm gonna put this bloody thing down now. Okay, well, that's it for now. Oh my god, I need this. I want to speak like Canadian. I want to speak the accent. That's hilarious. Why would you need this? <laughs> I think they might be hungry. I can't be sure. You hungry? Yes. Oh, oh no, we're just teething and rubbing our face on everything. <laughs> So, if any of you know me, um, like know me online or anything, you might know that I haven't been very well recently. And the problem is, I tend to treat myself when I'm not feeling very well and go shopping a bit too much. And the man shape does the same to try and cheer me up and make me feel better. He will purchase things maybe secretly sometimes so I'm just going to show you what I got today because it all seemed to come at once the lights reflecting really annoyingly I got a new case for my phone uh, it's exactly the same as my old one and as you can see I tried to open it and failed because Otterboxes are brilliant for a reason <laughs> but unfortunately I can't get the bloody things open uh, once they're on my phone, I can't get them off. But they've definitely saved my phone from certain death about a hundred times in the last year. Um, but the outside rubber casing gets really loose and annoying, and for some reason I just can't handle that. I can't sing what I want to sing, but you know what I mean. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's the wrong end. Boo! Candle. Paper white. Rug? Rug? I don't fucking know. It's the paper white number two. And I don't I just really like the packaging. It looks like some kind of futuristic thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. I really like it. And look, it even tells you with arrows for the stupid amongst us how to open it, which is very useful. And I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna have to turn it around because this is really weird to talk to you and just looking at a box. I'm really excited about it because I have um, an ancient Kindle. It's not that ancient, but it's like two years old, I think. So it has no touch screen and no like backlighting, front lighting, whatever the fuck it's called. I was just about to say no internet and I was like, no Jess, it has the internet. That's how you get books on it, you derp. And the problem is I'm really uh, shit with reading, as in I'm a real bookworm, but I end up watching YouTube instead of reading. So, I got the Kindle two years ago, put loads of books on it, and then didn't really use it that much. 
Like I used it for about a year and then stopped using it. About a month ago, I picked it up again and I was like, oh, I really want to read this book. And I kept touching the motherfucking screen. I could not stop touching the screen because I'm so used to touch screens now. And I just couldn't. I was like screaming in bed at it because I kept having to click buttons to turn pages. And my other half was just like, dude, oh my God, like I'm going to fucking buy you one because <coughs> I was just being too annoying. So, <laughs> but the good thing is, is he actually wants a Kindle himself. And he wants my old one. And I was like, why don't you just have the new one? Like, he's, he's a very good man shape. So now I have the fancy new thing and he's going to get my old one and get annoyed by it because I bet you anything he'll be like trying to touch the screen as well. <laughs> he's not going to watch this. So I was, just, I was just about to go, thanks. But um, he might watch it. I don't know. If you watch it, thanks. And then I went a bit mental in the bookshop and bought loads of stationery. Well, not loads, three pieces. This is a card for a friend who uh, did something really cool for me. <laughs> it's a cat. You can tell it's a cat, right? It's a really weird cat, but it's a cat. I'm a little bit obsessed with notebooks. Like, like I could just have thousands of them, like people have books and be quite happy. I do use them, but I end up using six notebooks at the same time for kind of si all for different, all for the same purpose, but the di a different purpose. Does that make sense? So like all of them will have a shopping list. All of them will have ideas in. All of them will have like phone messages. It's so stupid. I couldn't resist this one because it's ridiculously cute. Covered in woodland animals. So it's down to $9, which is still too much in my head because I think it's nine pounds and I'm like, ha oh, I really miss Paper Chase. If you're a UK viewer, oh my God. The station over here is not not up to par or I'm looking in the wrong places on the whole it's the bookstore indigo uh, chapters indigo same thing weird <laughs> it's got two names it does and I got another notebook which is bigger than my head um, <laughs> but this one has uh, a purpose and the color isn't showing up but ah, there we go ah, here we go it's pink and purple and all the good stuff this is the color my hair was supposed to be doesn't 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 really work. That one's actually going to be for my YouTube ideas because I have written my YouTube ideas in about six different notebooks <laughs> and it's really fucking annoying because I'm going, oh, what was that one I wrote down? I wrote down loads of information in a book somewhere and I won't know where it is. So I was like, I'm going to buy a specific book just for that reason and here we go and this isn't the one I wanted. Fuck it. It was like, this one was only, this, this one was only $9. How much was the other one? Not, they're both $9. Sorry if I've gone really wonky. I'm getting vlogger's arm. <laughs> I was talking to someone about that on Twitter, about how your arm really hurts after like a couple of minutes of holding the phone. And it's like, I just can't bother to go and get the tripod. And uh, clearly with the lighting and everything, but this is just my way of saying goodbye really. Um, but now I'm just showing you my shopping instead. The only other thing I got myself, so I bought that for myself, the two notebooks and the cards for someone else. And then I found a scarf, <laughs> sorry, I have like, I don't even know how many, but it's over a hundred scarves. It's like a collection, but whatever, it could be worse. I found a scarf that I've been looking for all summer, just a plain neutral colored scarf that isn't white bait, like just gray, gray, black, you know, anything like that with no pattern. And I finally found one today on like the last day of summer <laughs> and it's really lightweight and long and it was from the Gap and I was like ha ha and it was on sale and I was like yay and now I'm probably not going to use it uh, till next year. Personally I think this is a better angle for me at this current moment in time because I'm looking slightly ill. Um, <laughs> only kidding. Well not about the ill part. I am going to finish this vlog here. If it's been really boring then well done for watching this far because clearly you're watching and yeah thanks for watching and i hope you will come back and this is not a representation of how i normally am but like i said i haven't been very well so there we go <laughs> explanation over of the horror of jess okay i hope to see you soon bye bye you staring at yourself buddy